There are things that make corruption to continue in the church. And there are things that make corruption to continue outside the church. In his sermon, Ibozo identified greed and indiscipline as part of factors that push people into indulging in corrupt activities. 80-year-old man. Okay, let's use uh, this man to 70-year-old man. <laughs> will be stealing billions of men. The only explanation is greed. Because he's going to die and leave that money. So greed and indiscipline is spoiling corruption within the society. The clergy further applauded Nigerians who have adopted the church preaching to Pentecostal around the country on Sean, speak out and say no to corruption. I've seen a lot of people embracing the message of, in fact, two key messages. One, for Pentecostal leaders to get interested in social issues and set up social arm of the church to deal with that. And many uh, organizations, many churches have done that. Secondly, is to uh, engage in the fight against corruption by shunning, speaking, and taking action against corruption. And one of it is to declare today as Anti-Corruption Sunday. And as we celebrate the Anti-Corruption Sunday today, 135 churches across Nigeria have adopted today as anti-corruption Sunday and they are taking messages against corruption in their various churches. So you can say very clearly that the message is penetrating through the Pentecostal community and we thank God for what is going on. In 2016, the African Union adopted 11th July every year as African Anti-Corruption Day, but Palace of Priest Assembly and other churches in Nigeria mark the day on the last Sunday before the 11th July. The day provides an opportunity to reflect on the challenges of corruption on the African continent and to share good lessons and practices on how to deal with the evil. Sandra Akma reporting for Global TV.